Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 3rd. We're starting out this week with this incredible full moon. And Virgos, I've selected you to have access to your free love forecast for this week. It's absolutely free. If you're interested, your weekly love forecast is down below in the link. Now, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, so check all three. And if you're unsure, there is a free calculator also down below to help you out with that. All right, guys, it's the energies with this full moon in Aquarius is going to be pretty intense and interesting. So let's see what's going on this week. Let's just jump right into it. Let's get your Virgo guidance for the week of August 3rd. And then a theme for the week. All right, guys, let's do this. We have New Beginnings, the Moon, Knight of Cups, the Epiphany card, the Death card, the High Priestess, the Seven of Wands, the Two of Wands, the theme is Solutions, and the Knight of Wands. Let's jump into this, Virgo. This has so much to do with opening up new vistas in your life. When you have the New Beginnings card, yes, it's about new beginnings but it's not just about that it's about forgiving and releasing the past and facing fears in order to move forward with your life this week these are things the decisions that you're going to be making the changes that you're going to make in the the things that you're going to be starting to have this whole new path this is great for you and they're saying do it with a full heart when you have the moon on top of it of course you're nervous of course you're scared there's a lot of things in there what if i fail what if it doesn't work out what if i try this and it turns out worse. We, we'll always have that. It's just human nature to some degree. But this new beginning with the Knight of Cups is saying, look at the solution to creating this new life, starting out this new life. This can be starting a new career path. This can be starting a new kind of relationship. This can be buying a home, moving states or countries. You guys are starting a whole new path in life because the direction is calling for it. It's not just like, oh, I need newness. No, it's like, I've gone through a cycle in my life, I've learned, I've grown, and now I'm ready for something different, for something new so that I can expand and keep growing. And let me tell you, whenever we do that, of course, we're nervous. The moon is not just about our, our fears, our deep subconscious fears, but the things that are unknown. And of course, when we start out, we're not going to know all the answers. And the universe is saying that's perfectly fine. You're not supposed to. No one is. What matters is that you're doing it with the right heart, with the right intentions. So Virgo, whether you're starting a new job, whether you're changing careers, whether you're getting back out there dating or investing financially in something or making big moves. What matters is that it feels good here. It's okay if you have fear. That's normal. But are we doing it because we're passionate about it because it's deep for us? It means something to us. The Knight of Cups is dramatic and it's it comes in and knights always come in and kind of, you know, you know, save the day or they come in with a lot of passion and verb. But the Knight of Cups does it with a full heart. You're doing this because you love yourself. You love others. You're doing this because you your emotional well-being because it really matters to you, Virgo. So do it. This Aquarius full moon and with Uranus playing a part too is a lot of radical changes like boom, boom, boom. Done with this. Doing this. Bomb, bomb, bomb. You're going to see in the coming weeks. Now, and then you have it with the Epiphany card. Honestly, doing this is... When we learn lessons, it, it, it first is the experience, then it's cognitive. We can put, you know, one and one together. And then recognizing what this is and now walking the lesson. And the epiphany card is like, this is the card of the spiritual teacher. Virgo, by doing these things, not only is it good for you, but you're an example for others. You lead the way for others. When you do this, I'm not saying to have more people lean on you. But you kind of step up into a different role than before. You're no longer the novice. You're stepping up into a role of leadership, uh, being even an inspiration to other people here being a light to other people example let's say you're making some big moves in your life and maybe as a result you're able to provide more for your family or you inspire your siblings or even yourself and even making these changes you might do work or a career that helps to inspire others maybe you're writing that book you're making some kind of move here this is a good thing we have the death card with the high priestess i'm going to pull a clarity card here just to see what's going on Mm -hmm. the queen of swords and the eight of wands the death card people are like oh it's about new beginnings people think of endings but it's new beginnings and when you have the high priestess this is divinely guided so you're feeling it inside here so if you're looking for that clarity and that peace go within because the universe is giving you a lot of signs synchronicities 
you think, oh, well, when this happens, then I'll do it. I, I'm not sure about that. And then the solution comes. They're saying, look at when it comes to these changes, the changes that are happening, go with the full heart. But when making decisions, make them quick and just be decisive. The Queen of Swords, she she knows, and to look at gender here, but she's somebody who's self-reliant, brilliant, independent, and very like A, B, C, D. If this is good, this is not, cutting this, taking that, boom, boom, boom. It's business. That's kind of like her her motto in some way. When you have the eight of wands, make quick decisions. Don't make crappy decisions. Make quick decisions because the the choice isn't about, you know, oh, the little details. It's more emotional. Like, I'm afraid. And the universe is saying, look at if this is where you want to be in a year, it only stands to reason that you have to do these steps. So do it. Be logical as you're doing, making these choices. We have the seven of wands and the two of wands. You're going to have to claim your personal power here. And because the two of wands too is agreements. You might be signing a contract for a new career with a new company. You might be buying a car, buying a house, something where you are in agreement with another person or entity for the long haul. So example, companies, you might sign on a client, it's a three-year client, buy a house as a 30-year loan. Um, but, you, but it's also about making really bold and ambitious decisions this week. So good for you, Virgo. And when you have the seven of wands, claim your power. I deserve this. I have confidence. I can do this. I believe in myself. Go for it. This is a good, excuse me, a very good investment. Now, the theme of the week is the knight of wands and the solutions. You have two knights. This is an action taking week, new beginnings. And the solutions card is like the knight of wands is you are passionate about this. You're excited about this. Go for it. The Knight of Wands is like, hey, when I cross, when I get to that bridge, I'll cross it. Very courageous, very brave. And it's wonderful because you take action because you know it instinctively it's the right thing to do. And the solutions card is like, hey, this is going to be successful because you were objective. You were logical. You know, you saw the middle ground. You recognized this, this, and that. And you approached it from a, from a perspective that was very objective so that you can weigh the pros and cons and move forward. This is going to be good. There might be a little patience necessary because the energy, when there's nights, you have this energy, you kind of just want to do it. Should I do it? Boom, 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 you know, which is not bad. We kind of need this to propel us with a lot of the changes that we're going to be going through collectively. But there's a, these two cards, um, they have a lot of forgiveness energy too, a lot of release energy. And understand that if you are teetering, a lot of it has to do with your own fears. It has to do with your own feelings of, of, of um, you know, I wanted it to be this way, maybe it's that way. The universe is providing this new avenue, this new life, this incredible opportunity to approach it logically with a full heart, know it's right, trust your gut, go for it, Virgo, that was your time, it's an open window, take it. I hope this serves you. Your love reading is down below. If you'd like a more in-depth tarot session, a soul reading, a healing session, that's also down below, Virgos. Otherwise, I will see you next week for next week's readings.